Welcome, boys and girls. Today, we're going to learn about latitude and longitude. We'll learn how to find the poles, the hemispheres, important lines of latitude and longitude, and we'll also use coordinates to find places on a map. So let's start with lines of latitude. To learn about latitudes, we'll go to our friend, Allie the Alien. Hi, Allie. Hi, friends. I have been looking at the Earth from my home planet, so I have learned all about latitudes. Latitudes are imaginary lines that run in an east-west direction parallel to each other. The longest latitude is called the equator. You Earthlings have some strange words. It runs around the center of the Earth and divides the Earth into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Latitudes are measured in degrees and the equator is marked at zero degrees. Latitudes north of the equator go up in numbers from 1 to 90 degrees until they reach the North Pole. Latitudes south of the equator go down as negative numbers until they reach negative 90 degrees, which is called the South Pole. Okay, I'm hungry now. Time for a delicious alien snack. Thanks, Allie. Some other important latitudes are the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, also called the Tropics and the Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle, which are also called the Polar Circles. Now these latitudes are important because they roughly define different climate zones in the world based on how much sunlight each zone gets. The area between the two tropics gets the most direct sunlight and it's called the tropical zone. And the climate in many parts here tends to be warm and humid with lots of rain. The area between the tropics and the polar circles is called the temperate zone, where you can generally experience all four seasons during the year. The area beyond the polar circles is the polar zone, which gets the least direct sunlight and is generally cold and full of ice and snow. Now keep in mind that climate depends on many other things, and there are dry areas like the Sahara Desert, even within the rainy tropics. But latitudes can still help predict the climate trend of each zone. Okay, so enough about latitudes, now let's talk about lines of longitude. Uh, Allie, are you done with your snack yet? Sure am. Longitudes are imaginary lines that all start at one pole. They move away from each other until they get to the equator, and then they start closing in and meet again at the other pole. The central longitude is called the prime meridian. This line divides the Earth into the western hemisphere and the eastern hemisphere. Like the equator, the prime meridian is marked at zero degrees. Longitudes east of the prime meridian go up in numbers to 180 degrees east. And longitudes west of the prime meridian go down as negative numbers to negative 180 degrees. Okay, time for my dinner now. Already? Um, okay, thanks, Allie. Lines of longitude mark time zones. As the Earth rotates on its axis, only one half of the Earth faces the sun at any given time. And so when it's nighttime in one hemisphere, it's daytime in the other hemisphere. And this means that people in different parts of the world live in different time zones. To tell the time difference between two parts of the world, you just have to count the number of longitude degrees between them. Every 15 degrees is a one hour time difference. So two cities like Chicago and New York, which are roughly 15 degrees apart, have time zones one hour apart. So when it's 3 p.m. in New York, it's 2 p.m. in Chicago. London is about 75 degrees away from New York, and sure enough, its time zone is five hours ahead of New York. The prime meridian marks the baseline time zone, which is called Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT. All other time zones are measured relative to GMT. Okay, now let's use longitudes and latitudes to locate places on a map. The latitude and longitude position of any place on Earth is called its coordinates, with the latitude shown first and the longitude shown second. So if I asked you to look for a mystery place with coordinates of 30 and 31, you would find the latitude at 30 degrees and the longitude at 31 degrees, and where these two lines meet is our mystery place, the Great Pyramid of Giza. And in the same way, if I asked you to look for another mystery place with coordinates of minus 3 and minus 59, you would look for the latitude line at minus 3 degrees and the longitude line at minus 59 degrees. And where these two lines meet, you would find our second mystery place, the Amazon rainforest. So as you can see, each place on Earth has its own unique set of coordinates made up of a latitude and a longitude. And so if you know a place's coordinates, 
You can find it on a map. And now you know all about latitudes, longitudes, and coordinates. Thanks for watching.